good, I'm Jason and welcome to my beginner friendly Zoho Sprint tutorial. In it, I'll be showing you how to use Zoho Sprint project management software. This is a platform that will allow you to collaborate with your team members to finish projects in a timely and professional manner. You'll also be able to keep meetings using Zoho Sprint. You can also log the time. So for example, you'll be able to monitor how long someone takes to complete a particular project. And you could also use this platform to send invoices to freelancers or so on to get paid. Now, to sign up is completely free. All you'll need to do is go onto zoho.com slash sprints. From there, you're going to tap on sign up for free. After you have selected sign up for free, you'll be redirected to a dashboard like this. Once you're signed up and you're redirected to your dashboard, the first thing I want you to do is create a project. So let's say for example, our first aim will be to create a YouTube video. So we're going to tap and here where you see project name and I'm going to type in create a video. Now to create a video, we'll need someone to record it. We'll also need a voiceover, we'll need script and we'll also need thumbnail. So you can see right there that will be about five different individuals. So with this platform, all five individuals will be able to keep each one up to date on the progress that they are making with their particular tasks. So we'll tap right where you see start date and I would like them to start creating the video from the 24th and I would like the video to be completed by Thursday and we'd like the video to be completed by Thursday which would be the 27th better yet. Then I'm going to tap on create. After you have tapped on create, you'll be redirected to this page. On this page, you have two different options. You can either select backlog or you can select sprints. With backlog, you'll be able to, for example, you could type in, you can, you, with backlog, you can basically add each individual task. So for example, you could type in create thumbnail, create voiceover, and you can also type in, for example, create um, script so you can create the different tasks. Now the difference between backlog and sprint is with sprint for example if I were to tap on sprint right here and let's say I were to type in create thumbnail. After doing that you can add an in the description and sprint is basically the same thing as creating a task. The only difference is with sprint you will select the duration. So for example, let's say create thumbnail and I want the thumbnail to be finished in one day. So I'm going to be selecting Monday and I want it to be finished by Tuesday. Then I'll tap on create. After you have done that, you can see that the sprint has been added right there. And this is basically like a sticky pad so you can add more than one task. And then once you have completed the task, you can gradually move it up as they can be moved as you can see right there. So let's say I were to create a new item also. So I'm going to be create, let's say for example, create voiceover. So I'll type in voiceover right there. After doing that, you can see right there, I'm going to tap on create. So you can see right there, I've now created two tasks. So I have create voiceover and I have also that and I can add more work items. Once you're finished doing that, you can go over to the top left hand corner of the navigation bar. And from here, you have a few options. You can tap on epics and with epics, you'll be able to create stories, tasks or bugs. So you can classify the user to complete a task or so on. So you could tap on plus epic right here. Then from there, you could type in the task name. So let's say, for example, I would like to assign the thumbnail to a particular team member. I could type in thumbnail right here. Then after you have done that, you could add the description. After you have added the description, you can tap where you see owner and I could select the team member. Then I'll tap on create and you can see that it has now been added. Another thing that you can also do, you could tap on release. And release is basically where you'll be able to track the progress of your different works. 
so you can tap on release and you can track the projects right there you can also tap on board and board is basically the same thing where you'll be able to see how far your work their work is going so you can see right here manage and organize your sprints with a visual comprehensive tool so you'll be able to track the progress again of the work so you can also tap on reports and reports is basically where each person will be reporting how far they're in their tasks they can report any burnout or burn up as you can see right there and you can also use the timesheet feature to log hours so you can simply tap on log hours then from there you could select the sprint or task here you could tap on log hours then from here you could search for the work item let's say for example create voiceover after you have done that you're going to tap on create so after you have logged the time the owner of the or the leader of the project would simply go into this timesheet then from there they are going to tap on pending and they would select approve after they have selected approve if it is a case that you are to get paid as a freelancer they'll tap on billable right here and then from there they'll be able to pay you for the hours that you have logged if it is a case that you like to also keep a virtual meeting you could tap on meetings and from there you could schedule a meeting using zoho sprints and that's basically it hope you use this tutorial to complete your different tasks and i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching